Hi, folks. Back for more rivet training. We're going to focus more on structure. Uh, in this exercise, we're going to learn how to create a moment frame and we're going to place uh, some bracing. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you need a file with bracing set up in it, but uh, I'm using this file from um, one of my training manuals, Rivet Structure 2013 Basics and uh, Documentation. So the first thing we want to do in this exercise, let's just zoom into this area right here. And then we want to select this beam here. Now, we want to hold the control key down and select this one as well. So our beams are selected. They should be highlighted to let you know they're also been picked up. So in the property pane, on the structural section in the properties, right here, we'll see where it says uh, structural connection. In connection, so where it says in connection here, or I mean, yeah, in connection, we want to just select here, and we want to say moment frame, click apply. Now you see these symbols that picked up, these are the end connections, and these are the moment frames. So those triangles represent the moment frame. So now let's go down and select this one here, this beam right just here. And so, so now from this point, we want to do the moment for that. And that beam is cantilevered, as you can see, but there's no support there, or really. So we want to go here, and we want for the end connection for this one, we want to do a cantilever moment. And there's that triangle representing a uh, cantilever moment. Okay, so now, also what you can do now, I have that selected. I want to go into the Manage tab. Under my Structural Settings. And right here, where we have beam and trust, this can be adjusted, and this is how you do it, or where you do that, we'll just take this and say one half inch. Click apply, I mean okay. Now as you can see the the distance changed. Now, for some reason, you were supposed to have one on that end as well. Let's see what I did here. Let's see if I will go here as well. Okay, there it is. So that's 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 how you basically place uh, and show count moments. Now, we're going to carry this a little farther, and we want to look at. Um, Placing some bracing. So we're on the second floor, so let's go down to our first floor. Now we're in our first floor of this model. And we want to do is we want to activate the view ribbon. 
And in the view ribbon, we want to uh, go down the elevations. We want to open a framing elevation. And it's just simply elevation and framing. So once we get that font that picked up, let's go and place that elevation, say, right here. I want to be on that side of it. Okay, so once that's in, we can double click on this guy. I love this about Rivet. Excuse me. Okay, we double click on that and we we'll open that view. So now we're in that framing elevated view. So what we want to do in a detail level, we can do this in two places. Um, we can do it under views or to make it really easy, let's just go right here and make it medium. So now we have our uh, our framing elevation of this view. So now all we need to do from this point is uh, go into our properties pane. Let's just go into our properties and get this straight now. Now, so uh, we want to name this, get us a sheet name. So when you place it on your sheet later on, so let's call this brace frame elevation all caps and we'll apply that okay now we have this view so we want to adjust this crop region here so we can see more of the, the beams and the structure or the frame. Let's just pull this out uh, about there. You should own preface. So there's our view. And then we can go and turn this off. If we want to hide it, just turn that light off there. And there we have our, our, our framing elevation that we're going to use for this exercise. Now, we want to go in and activate the structure ribbon once again. And we want to set bracing, structural framing, where it says brace. Now, here we want to lower the family. We go to insert, lower family. We'll go down to structural framing. We'll go with steel. And we want to use the hollow, HSS hollow section. So we pick this. And then we have this nice tight properties dialog box that will pop up. So let's take the HSS six by six by a quarter, which is a good size. So we go down to all the way to six by six by a quarter. We'll say okay. And that's loaded in. And now all we need to do is, since we have that loaded, let's go to our first point, which would be here, and place us at the center point of that beam, and there's our hollow section place. Now, I want to undo this because I want to go in the annotate tab. We want to, let's just undo this. And we want to go to systems, I mean structure, and I want to tag this on placement. 
So here, let's have this highlighted. So now we'll place our framing from this point to this point, center point. And there we have our framing on placement. So now we want to do the next bracing, the next hollow section. And we'll just go from this point. So if I untag that, it's going to go away, but I want that tag, I want that highlighted so I can place my um, my documentation or my text. And there we have that placed. So that's how you basically do framing. So now what I want to do now is I want to show you this. Let's just modify out of this. Now we'll select our this hollow section and then the start attachment elevation we can change that so we can go here and we'll say start attachment let me see let me pull this out so we can see what's going on here folks so we have that highlighted so Let's see if I can find it here. Let me just cancel this for one moment. Select this guy again. And I want to start attaching it. Element. Let's just drop this down. Okay, now here. I don't see the command I'm looking for, so I'm not going to bother with it too much. So I'll just try this. What I'm trying to do is we should be able to take this guy and in the properties pane under structural. Let's try this one right here. I don't think this is the one, but let's just give it a shot. Let's go minus six, apply. Okay, that's not what I want to do there. I'm sorry. Okay. So that feature is different. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move on. We have our bracing here. I'm going to just move on here. Okay. So there's our uh, properties. I'm looking for uh, if anybody can answer this or tell me how this is done in 18. I appreciate it. Or I'm not seeing it here. So we're going to move on with this exercise, this assignment. So what normally should happen is um, okay. Not giving me that. So now let's go back into our elevation. Go into bracing. And this time we want to start from this point to the center point again. 
And then you see what what happened. You gotta have that tag on placement highlighted. So I can basically go and hit place this point here to there, and it tagged it for me. And then if you wanna do them all, just go into tag all. Structural framing tags, apply, and OK. So now, one final thing we want to do here is um, let's change the um, view here for this framing elevation to let's make this course. That's basically how you would see it in this type of uh, drawing, maybe, or it depends on the engineer. So let's go to our second floor level. Now we're here in our second floor, and as you can see, there's the bracing that we placed, and it's, and it's displayed as dashed lines. So Let's go into our structural settings under the Manage tab. And here it says Brace Symbols. You can have parallel line, or let's just make this align with an angle. Click OK. And there's our new representation. Uh, you have the line with the angle. So let's switch to the 3D view. And there you have our bracing. So folks, uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you got out a lot of this video. We did moment. And we did uh, bracing. So uh, if you have any questions, any comments, or you want this file to practice with, just drop me an email. Have a good one and bye.